This video is going to go out on my Patreon channel and my main channel at the same time as a warning to everybody who's watching this. I bought this motor, it's a 1200 watt hub motor, as it says, 1200 watt hub motor. I bought this for a project that I'm working on, which I'm not going to tell you about. Now, that isn't the point. The point of it is, I did exactly what I did with everything else that I bought from China. I took the bolts out, which there's well, one, two, three, four, five, six on that side, six on that side, and I took it apart. Now, there isn't anything wrong with that. There is nothing at all wrong with that, because I wanted to check, number one inside, and number two, I need to put ferrofluid in it to keep it cool, to stop it burning out, so I don't have to go and buy another one or hassle the Chinese people and say, I'm sorry, it's burnt out. What am I going to do about it? I'm doing them a favour, I'm doing me a favour and everything else. So I undid the bolts. Now, to get these motors apart is a piece of piss. Incidentally, if there is any swearing, I don't apologise. I am so fucking annoyed you won't believe. To get these apart, you undo the bolts, and then you literally, you do that, and you pull it out. That is how easy it is, and how no damage you can do to it, that's how, how, how easy it is. So there's the stator, that's fine. Look at that, one cracked magnet. Cracked. Now not only that, but I've measured it. I measured this side here, I've measured that side there. That is not a, just a cracked magnet. What they've done is, they've put two magnets together. That's a 12mm, that's an 11mm. Yeah, no, this might be the way around. You can clearly see the fucking gap in it there. Anyway, I sent them an email with a photo on it. I'm going to put the transcripts, all the photos and all the evidence that I sent to them and told them exactly what was what. They came back to me straight away saying, don't cheat, basically don't be a fucking liar because that is not our motor. I sent them a photo of this, just this, and they said we want to see the serial number. So then I took this and I put that with it and I put that with it, which is the serial number, and I said, there you go, in, in, in its entirety. And they said, don't cheat, you just want a refund. That's an old motor, you're talking shit, basically. So I filed a, 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 a complaint, whatever it is, with, with AliExpress. Put all my details and everything else uh, 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 with it, and I thought, you know, there's not going to be a problem, because evidently that's fucked. AliExpress are refunding me £18.29, because they said there is insufficient evidence. Down below, I am going to leave all the details that I sent to them. I was very nice. They came back and basically told me to go fuck myself. I'm going to leave all the details in the dispute down below, absolutely everything. I'm going to leave their store details, I'm going to leave absolutely everything because I do not want anybody else to buy anything off them because this is the fucking shit that they give you. See, when I took those bolts out, they're saying that I invalidated the warranty. How can I invalidate the warranty by it? There's, there's no seal on it, there's absolutely nothing on there, there's nothing on the listing to say if you take it apart, you are invalidating the warranty. There's no way I could have done any damage to it by taking it apart. I mean, look at the fact the valve. The valve is even, I've, I've still got to take the wheel. Is it invalidating the warranty if I take the tyre off and put the fucking thing right that you've cocked up? They're saying that taking the covers off and everything else invalidates the warranty. No, in actual fact, you're saying that purely because I've, I've, I've uncovered that you are complete, total and utter bodge artists who sell a pile of shit onto the public like that. That is not usable. It's dangerous. Anybody else who buys this, who doesn't take it apart, who just fits this to the scooter on the front or the back, if they fit it on the front, these go on a Zero 10X. And you know the speed that they, those things do. If you fit this on the front and anything goes, you, you, you're going to be in bloody trouble. A lot of trouble. Now, anybody else who just fit this and think, oh, this is fantastic, it's a fucking ticking time bomb. Absolute ticking time bomb. If that 
that's, I mean, it's, look, it's already coming apart. If that separates and goes into the stator, it'll just lock the wheel, completely lock the fucking wheel up. You cannot use it. They're telling me that that is not theirs. How, how can it be anybody else's? They said it's not new. Look at the tyre, look. You know what makes everything right at the end of the day? When you're walking around a supermarket and somebody random walks up to you and says, all right, Tony, love your videos. Yeah, cheers, Craig. I, and I do apologize for being a bit pissed off, but I was having to make this video, so <laughs> cheers, mate.